items. So there's a lot of items. We could be at this for a very, very long time. First of all, I only have one woodcutter, so I don't need two axes. I only have one pick. I only have one miner, so I'm only going to bring one pick. Now, the next cheat code, you can build these immediately out of the carpenter's workshop. We don't need a stepladder. We don't need a wheelbarrow. We can make them. Those are very expensive items that we don't need to bring with us. Same thing for crutches, splints, and buckets. We can make those out of the carpenter's workshop like immediately. Not our concern. Next thing, pigtail, or whatever these are going to be, because a lot of your stuff gets randomized based on your location and stuff. Pigtail stuff is expensive. The cheapest thing in the game, and you can search here for a specific thing, is cave spider silk things. So we can get five cave spider silk bags for half the price of the pigtail bags. So we'll just switch them out. And then we can do the same for thread, get rid of the pigtails, and then the same with the ropes. In fact, I'm going to grab two extra ropes because ropes are kind of important and not the easiest thing to make. Now, let's clear this out. This will just stay here unless you clear it out, which will mess up looking for other things. Let's grab some more drinks because, like I said, the dwarves need alcohol to survive. Uh, we need to grab the wine as well, and we'll just crank all these up to 30. Just so we have a huge supply of drink. Also, the general thing to note when you're in the item menu here, you want to bring a variety of things. Like you don't want to grab like a hundred of these snail eyes. You want to grab like 10 different types of food, right? Each one, each one that you bring gives you an extra barrel to start the game with. So the more things you bring, the more free barrels you get. Let's also grab more fish. We have lobsters. Cave fish. Sometimes you'll have turtles here too. We did not get turtles this time. But we'll grab cave fish. Why not? And because they've separated the points now, we have just an absurd amount of points to grab things here with. Let's grab. We need a hunting weapon for our hunting dwarf. We are going to give them a copper crossbow. Copper stuff is the cheapest like weapons and tools and stuff that you can get here. Often you can make wooden stuff once you're in-game, but you can't grab, like, wooden crossbows, I don't think. Yeah. Can't make a wooden crossbow here, but you can build it in-game. Kind of an odd thing, but just something to be aware of. And then we're going to need copper bolts. I'm going to get 40. I think they can fit 20 in a quiver. So we'll let them have two quivers of copper bolts. Again, normally you make them out of wood, but here we can only grab them out of metal, which is fine. Normally, I even drop my anvil because it'll be a long time before we can get uh, a smithing industry going. However, because now that there's so many points, you might as well take it with you. Okay, so let's grab more food. The food's kind of the annoying one to deal with. At least the way I do it, I don't have to do it this way, you know? Okay, because I put, see how, because copper was still in here, I couldn't find any food. I'm like, what the heck is going on? We'll go to meat. And what I like to do for meat is I like to get just a like 15 of each i usually do 10 of each but again we have so many extra points we might as well grab 15 of each and then i grab anything that's two points because i don't think it matters i'm not going to get like the bug brains though i don't know if they're if there's like a big difference oh, these are both meat they might not stack or they might get stacked in one barrel instead of giving me a se separate barrel so let's grab some wombat lungs <laughs> let's grab some yak hearts. And yes, dwarves are... They have interesting tastes, to say the least. Hardvark intestines. That seems good. All right. Now, the backbone of our food supply is actually going to be plump helmets. Plump helmets are a mushroom that we grow underground. Doing my speed clicking strategy. We're going to give 40 plump helmet spawn. Rock nuts are just consumed once and then they don't produce a seed, so I'm not really sure what the value in keeping them is. Dimple cups, I think, can be brewed into a drink. So we're going to bring 30 of those. We might as well crank these up because we have extra points. We'll just make these like 20, though, because they're not quite as important as put plump helmets and dimple cups. And you know what? We didn't replace this cloth with a uh, cave spider cloth or cave spider spilt. Cave spider. You used to actually be able to bring cave spiders with you, which is really cool, but they got rid of that a long time ago. There it is. At the top. How much was there? Just five. Yeah. Yeah, like it's all half price. I think it's just because it's silk, it's half price. So we do that. 
Uh, where's our regular pump helmets? Like we get these, but yeah. We want more just regular pump helmets. They are four times the cost of bringing seed seeds though, but each of them will also drop a seed after they've been eaten. So it's just kind of a, a very good thing to have, just extra plump helmets.